In the heart of Greenland's frozen expanse, a story of remarkable ingenuity and resilience unfolds, etched not in ink, but in wood. The Amasalic wooden maps, carved with the wisdom of the Inuit, speak of an age-old harmony between man and nature. Our tale begins in the 19th century with a native of Umivik named Cunit. Amidst the relentless Arctic winds and the endless dance of sea and ice, Cunit crafted something extraordinary. Using wood, a material at once humble and buoyant, he carved maps of the rugged Greenland coastline. These were no ordinary maps. They were tactile guides, companions in the moonlit nights for fishermen navigating the treacherous waters. Should misfortune strike and their kayaks capsize, these wooden guardians would float, steadfast in their loyalty to their makers. But the essence of these maps transcended their physical form. In the dim light of an igloo, they became instruments of storytelling, bridging generations. A single map, with its pronounced groove, narrated tales of carrying kayaks overland to the next fjord. Every ridge, every curve on these maps was a verse in a saga of survival, an ode to the Inuit's intimate bond with their unforgiving yet majestic land. In a twist of fate, these unique artifacts would cross paths with the outside world. In 1885, during a Danish expedition led by Gustav Holm, Kunit traded his maps for unknown treasures. These three pieces, one showing undulating coastlines, another a string of offshore islands, and the third a peninsula, were unlike any seen before. Their discovery was a revelation, a window into a world where geography and folklore entwined. Today, these maps are treasured in museum collections, including the Greenland National Museum. Yet, they stand alone, the only known examples of their kind. This rarity cloaks them in mystery, making them not just artifacts, but symbols of a lost art. In our era of digital mapping, these wooden maps are poignant reminders of a time when navigation was a deeply personal, almost spiritual act. They remind us of the enduring ingenuity of the Inuit, a people who crafted their lore and knowledge into every piece of wood they carved, turning the harsh Arctic landscape into a canvas of their stories. The Amasalic wooden maps, though silent, continue to speak. They tell of the seamless blend of practicality and mythology, of the respect for nature's might, and of the enduring spirit of a people who, against all odds, made the Arctic their home. In the echoes of these maps, we find not just the whispers of the sea, but the heartbeat of the Inuit culture, forever resonating with the timeless rhythm of the Arctic. As we close our journey through the fascinating world of the Amasalic wooden maps, and the rich culture of the Greenland Inuit, we hope you've been captivated by the remarkable blend of history, tradition, and the enduring spirit of these incredible people. Thank you for watching and for joining us in exploring this unique chapter of human ingenuity and resilience. Remember, every map tells a story, and in this case, it's a story that continues to inspire and connect us across time and cultures.